Ooh, that looks tasty. Is welcome, and before you order, can I offer you some wine? I have a lovely Sangiovese, and also from Italy today, I have... Yeah, can I just, um... Just give me whatever... Whatever you have in a box. That that sounds good to me. All right, thanks. Welcome, folks. Say the Hungry Gamer is back with another digital board game review. And today we are talking about Viticulture, the digital implementation of Stonemeyer Games Classic. Now, before I got this app, I had actually never played Viticulture and didn't know anything about it. So I actually entered this completely fresh, completely cold. And so before I jump into the app itself, I just wanted to give the quick 30 second lightning fast review of my now my thoughts on the game itself. I think that this is a worker placement game that does some unique things, some things that I have not seen before in other worker placement games. Again, I'm sure they've been done, but of particular note, I really do like the different seasons that you go through and the two different boards and then in each phase of the game there's different areas that you can access that you can place your workers i really do like that it really helps tie the theme of the game into the gameplay mechanics itself i think that's very well done and i also particularly enjoy the use of the the grande worker which is one that you every player has one worker that they can place anywhere even if someone's already there and i do think that is a lot of fun Though I don't fully understand the theme behind it. It's just you got a really big guy who's like, move out of the way. I'm going to crush some grapes here. So I don't know exactly how that works, but it is a fun mechanic. And I do like that. And overall, and overall, I do think that they've done a very good job of bringing the theme in of the visitors and the shopping and the crushing and the aging and all of those things. It is, it is a very good combination of theme and mechanics. And I can see why a lot of people really do like Viticulture a lot. I will also add here that this does not appear to have any of the expansion material in it, none of the Tuscany things. Whether or not this includes the stuff that's in the Essential Edition, I do not know. Is this my favorite worker placement game? No, it, it's not. I, I'll say I actually prefer Euphoria from Stonemaier Games, which is actually probably my second or third favorite worker placement game out there right now. But we are not here to talk about my thoughts on Viticulture itself. We are here to talk about my thoughts on the app. So, so I will start out and say that it does pretty much everything that you would want an app to do. And I'll just go ahead and pick, there we go, two players to AI players to play against, and you'll see it will just take you right through everything that you need to know. You get to go through and pick what bonus you're gonna start with. I'll just I'll just go ahead and pick that one. It doesn't really matter for the moment. And then you'll go through and you'll see that the AI down here, they are computing and they'll figure out what it is that they want to do as well. Now, usually what I do is I talk about the things that I really like about it and then the things that are my quibbles. I'm actually gonna start the other way around here. I'm gonna start with one of my quibbles, which you may have noticed with how long we were sitting there and waiting. Let me just go ahead and make a choice right here real quick. And that is, I often praise games that make you feel like you're playing against another person. Well, what this one does, does that in a way that is not so good. You'll see AI is computing. Sometimes it takes the AI a long time to compute to figure out what it's doing. It's almost like the AI has analysis paralysis, which is one of the things that drives me crazy about playing Euro games. So I'll get that one out of the way first, and I'll come back and I'll probably show you that again in just a few minutes. But once you get past that, the app does do a fair amount of things really well. It is pretty easy to see your player board there. I really like how that works. Comes in, you can just bring it down a little bit. Tap it again, you can see it on mass. It's not the right phrase, but whatever, you get the idea. And that I think is great. It lets you use the whole screen for the game board itself, with what you're doing. And so hooray for that. Now, and I'll also say it is very easy to see what the bonuses are you might get if you go to a different place. It's very easy to see 
Well, if I go here, I'm going to get a green card. Here, I'm going to use one of my green cards, and I'm just going to go ahead and take a couple actions here. And it doesn't really matter what I'm doing. I'll just build that real quick. And so you can see as I'm here, the AI is still taking its turn. And I apologize for the banging in the background. For those of you that have been watching the channel, you know that we do have construction going on. So I'm trying to edit as much out as I can. And so to, to kind of give you a, a full idea of just how long the AI can take to go through turns, I'm just going to pass here and just let it play through. And you can just, and you can see how long it can sometimes take. And honestly, I'm probably going to speed up the video and I'll give you a subtitle that tells you just how long it actually was. So I'm going to pass my turn and let the two AI players take their entire phase here. Just again, so you can see how long it can take. And that is something that can happen. There have been times when I used all my workers over here and we got to the other phase and I had to wait a very, very long time. So I will hit the pass here for my turn and confirm. And now we wait and see just how long it takes. And again, I'm gonna speed this up and just put up the timer. And so you can see that just took a long time. Now, with all of that said, what I will say is, other than the AI computing time, this app does do a good job of giving you the feel of playing a worker placement game. It really does. I have no complaint with the way it does its scoring for you. I have no complaint with the way the AI actually makes its choices. All of that, I think, is really well done. My only two real quibbles are what I've already mentioned. The AI takes, in my opinion, too long to take actions. And I will also say that the tutorial on this app is not very good. I read the whole thing and then I tried to play and I couldn't. I actually had to go and watch a how to play video for the board game. And that's why I feel like I can say that it's a good implementation of the board game because after watching the how to play the actual board game, I was able to play this. Now, with all of that said, I know it sounds like this is a fairly negative review. I don't necessarily think that this is a bad app. Yes, it has two problems, definitely. Not a very good tutorial. You can't click on or tap on the locations and it tells you what they do. That would be great and the AI takes too long. However, beyond that, it's an excellent implementation of a board game. It does everything you would want it to do, it has online play, it has good levels of AI that you can use, and you can really get the viticulture experience, and, and I can only assume that eventually they'll add in those Tuscany expansions. So there you have it, folks. That is the viticulture digital version. I do think this is a good implementation of the board game. It just has two, in my opinion, decently big issues that I hope they're able to fix in the future. So there you have it, folks. That is Viticulture Digital. As always, if you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, share. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.